Hi and welcome to our auction video preview of our October 30th sale which is comprised of over 400 lots of jewelry, silver, gold and couture. We're going to start here with some of our silver for this sale. This is a wonderful grouping of four um, Georgian style candlesticks, really quite nice, more contemporary version but really a sweet set. Um, we have some tea pots, we have this Tiffany flask, really quite nice. Uh, Pruitt set, this is from 1901 by Welby. We have a pair of Judaica Shabbat candlesticks. Um, this really nice pierced basket. These are all ex Christie's and these are all Russian silver. It's really quite nice. There's four of them, all 19th century Russian silver. Another collection of enamel decorated Russian silver here. This is Russian yellow silver. So you can see the technique here of this kind of blackened silver. Um, groupings of um, decorative items. So this is really quite sweet, this little gilt bunny, um, another grouping of continental silver, but really quite pretty, so really quite decorative. Um, some Tiffany boxes, some more Russian, um, more decorative boxes in the back. Probably one of the stars of the silver is this Fabergé silver mounted, um, probably black opal. So if you see here, you can kind of see how the light interacts with the phenomenal gems here. So you can see these color variations to the center and really beautiful decoration to the handles. And it is signed to the handle here. And that's all photographed online. We have some continental silver tea caddies. I'm just gonna open this door. Um, some more Tiffany silver. These are French. These came from the Stanford estate and these are beautiful. So you can see the middle torch here and then these candelabra arms, really, really beautifully done. Um, some more contemporary silver. This is Japanese mixed metal with these roosters. It is signed, but really a beautiful example. So you can see the signature here. This is Tiffany. Um, this is a modernist tea set, three piece set by CC Herman. We have some Southwest silver, this nice box. This is a beautiful, guilloche enamel decorated box. So look at this enamel work. It's really just so well done and still in very good condition. Um, and actually some of this is from the Roosevelt estate. So if you look on the bottom here of this one, you can see the ex Roosevelt estate from Eleanor Roosevelt sticker. So we have several of these lots. Um, and now we're gonna move over to the jewelry. So I have a lot to cover here, so I'm going to move relatively quickly, but all of there's photographs um, full descriptions, condition reports, etc., on our website for all of these items. So we're going to start here. We have rings, lots and lots of rings for you. So we have blue cabochons, jade, diamonds and colored gems, rubies and diamonds. Here's a past, present, future diamond ring. We have high carat jade, um, jade with dragons, a yellow diamond. This is by William Spratling. This is one of the most beautiful Blackmore rings I've seen, a nice antique example, and she's just gorgeous, really beautiful at four to 600. Jade, diamonds, this is angel skin coral. We have a large diamond men's ring, amethyst cabochons, this is an antique pearl and rose cut diamond ring. We have a pear shaped diamond with diamond accents to the sides. These are Victorian black and white enamel rings, continental gold. Jade bracelets, this is platinum and jade. 14 karat gold and jade, 14 karat gold, jade and seed pearls. This is Art Deco with pierced jade panels and set in 14 karat gold. We have Egyptian Revival. So I'm just gonna take this out because it's really quite nice. So each little turquoise cabochon is flanked by snakes and then the closure itself is a pharaoh. So it's really quite nice, I love Egyptian Revival. 14 karat gold and colored gem, 14 karat gold and turquoise. We have amethyst cabochons, unfortunately missing one but it's a, I, I'm sure you can find a replacement. This is, I believe, Austrian 14 karat bicolor gold. This is 14 karat gold. This is a beautiful diamond bracelet, heavy diamond work. And again, bicolor gold, so it's yellow and white. Heavy diamond weight. This is sapphire and diamonds. This is in the style of Cartier, and this is bicolor gold and diamonds. Continental 18 karat gold with graduated color gems and diamond accents. We have these colored gem hearts. This is very cool. So this is a vinaigrette ring. So it's 18 karat gold, it's continental. And so you see the beautiful enamel work here. And then it holds a vinaigrette. So this opens to a pierced grill. And then you would hide orange peels or, or some sort of scent in here um, when you're walking around. This is most probably pink tourmaline set in 14 karat gold and really beautiful. There's a, a light etched or a carved design to each. 
This is a diamond bracelet, really quite nice with an open work design. Again, Egyptian revival with a carved scarab. This is the Mexican artist Matilda Pula, a really great example of her work. We have 18 karat gold thimbles, two of them, one of several 14 karat gold coin purses. We have lorgnettes and magnifying glasses. So these open, very sweet, 14 karat gold. And um, this is a Dunhill lighter. Um, so this is savory, you can see the signature here. It's Japanese with enamel work and the beautiful bird. All the details, etc., on our website. This was a cigar cutter that was owned by Raymond C. Yard. Um, so you can see here the monogram. And we have several pieces from his estate. This is an amethyst and 14 karat gold cross pendant. Here we have three 18 karat gold religious medallions. 14 karat gold cross, starting off with some of our boxes. So, 14 karat gold Vesta case. This is by Louis Kuppenheimer. Nice, really, you can just see the quality of the gold work here. Look at how it interacts with the light. I just love that checkerboard pattern. Uh, 14 karat gold, again, this is owned by Raymond C. Yard. You can see the monogram here. Another 14 karat gold box, 14 karat gold box. Really quite nice, this one has a mirrored interior, I believe. There are images online and I'm not gonna be able to open it because you're all watching. So, promise there's pictures online. 14 karat gold notepad cover. And here we have two little sweet bottles. They're scent bottles with enamel decoration. Here we have one of our smaller Vesta, um, vinaigrettes. So again, the pierced grill to the interior. This is an 18 karat gold mounted Jasper box. Gorgeous, from our Hollis estate. This is an ex-hammer gallery seal stamp with carved stone and enamel work with the fitted box, really so beautiful, at 1,000 to 1,500 with a color gem finial. Here we have one of several enamel decorated boxes, so continental gold, probably Swiss with the enamel decoration of four cherubs, and there's actually also an inscription inside. So I'll just quickly show you that, but images online. Here is a vinaigrette pendant, so again, 18 karat gold with enamel decoration really quite nice. From our Stanford estate, we have pearl and diamond earrings at 15 to 2,500. Here we have 14 karat gold mounted color gem cabochons. These two pair of earrings together, so this is lapis and diamonds, and this is color gems and diamonds. We have a pair of carved pink tourmaline um, Asian earrings. They're beautiful. We have this stick pin of slaying the dragon. We have this a uh, ducat mounted as a pendant, 14 karat gold mounting, bicolor gold rose cut diamond cross, really quite nice, nice size. Moving on to some chains and necklaces, 14 karat gold chain. We have this really sweet watch on a pendant. We have this Egyptian revival scarab necklace, which from the same estate matches the bracelet that was shown previously. We also have this 14 karat gold chain. This is an 18 karat gold chain, which is really quite nice. Um, turquoise filigree settings. This is beautiful. Emerald cabochons and diamonds. Really quite nice. And it's a choker length, it's beautiful. It wears well also. Um, let's see, another enamel decorated vinaigrette pendant. This is gorgeous. Emeralds, diamonds, and rubies. It's beautiful. Look at the nice size with these stones and just the really nice brilliance of these diamonds. Here we have a floral rose cut diamond and old European cut diamond brooch, but again, gorgeous. Here we have a grouping of diminutive frames. So this is by itself. This is platinum, uh, rubies, and diamonds. This is 14 karat gold, tricolor gold. So it's rose, yellow, and white gold. These two frames are together. Each has pearl and diamond accents. We have this wonderful carved emerald with seed pearl accents in a filigree setting. 14 karat gold monogram with a crown and colored gem cabochons. We have this retro or vintage bow brooch. This is Tiffany and Company and it's lapis set in 18 karat gold. This one is black star and frost with this large faceted amethyst with the diamond surround. One of my favorite stones, star sapphires with a seed pearl and colored gem surround. But again, let's just rock this back and forth so you can see the hystericism, which is the phenomenal characteristic of star sapphires and how it interacts with light. Really so beautiful. Um, moving on to some coins. Nice coin bracelet. All of the information for each of these coins is available on our website. We have this, um, it's a lighter. So it opens here and there was something here you would light it. 
So this is English gold, 18 karat. Military. So we have these shields that are on a charm bracelet. Um, each of these enamel decorated shields. This is the George Washington pendant. So this is a commemorative pendant. Um, really quite interesting. Ton of charm bracelets in the sale. First, we'll start with this one. This is French. So it's colored gems and diamonds set in silver and gold, really beautiful at four to 600. And then lots of charm bracelets. But I'm just going to take the time to show you this one because this one's particularly beautiful and has such nice examples of charms. So we have a little animal. We have this. Uh, we have the two parrots together and it says inseparable on the back. We have this Cartier style toucan. We have this little robot man with probably a blue sapphire. Stan sandstone. Uh, Virgin Mary, this beautiful, probably ruby and diamond. We have this Neff ship, which again is kind of in the style of Cartier, a wishing well with diamonds. Again, a mother of pearl carved um, Virgin Mary, this owl, and then the most beautiful one. Look at this ice skater. She is just phenomenal with this large rose cut diamond as her skirt. This bracelet is estimated at 1,500. And of course, there's really other sweet examples. I wish I knew where the bulldog one was, but look, nice coral examples. Here's a little pig. This one has sweet ones too. This one's really nice. This little kind of devil. He's really nice. I'll, oh, look, here's the one that I want. Look at this bulldog. I know I'm a fan of dogs, so I'm biased, but he's just so sweet. Okay, moving on to some cufflinks. In the style of Barry Kisselstein cord, we have these alligators. These are cigars. If someone has a cigar smoker in the family, these are so sweet. Unusual, I think. Uh, starfish, lapis and diamonds, horses. We have these kind of antique um, antiquity rings. We have a high carat um, Etruscan revival ring. Jade, this is a probably a sapphire cabochon set in 14 karat gold. We have this diamond, we have these two diamond bands. This is Theodore B. Star with probably a sapphire, which is really quite nice. A very sweet flower, she's beautiful. A little Art Nouveau ring with platinum and diamond and ruby accents. We have 14 karat gold, lapis and diamonds. We have this modernist diamond ring and this is a micro mosaic of a parrot that is just out of this world. Moving on to some more jewelry. Um, probably green tourmaline set in gold. We have this bicolor gold bracelet with diamonds. Really such a nice example. Here we have Mughal or Indian jewelry. So these are emeralds, rubies, and diamonds. So we have that on this side. And then when you flip it over, beautiful enamel work to the alternative. An absolutely gorgeous um, buckle for Marjoretier bracelet with diamonds and blue enamel work. And then again to the buckle or the clasp here. Another beautiful diamond brooch with this nice diamond drop. We have Art Nouveau enamel work. Look at the color variations. They are just a master of their craft. It's beautiful. Um, two jade items. This is an antique snake bracelet and it is silver over 18 karat gold. We have these diamond earrings at two to 3,000. So really quite nice. Floral and diamond bracelets. So we have lots of different variations. Um, some are silver topped gold, some are rose cut diamonds, some are old European cut. This one is particularly nice because it has the enamel work. So all of the, the gold settings are topped with black enamel. And this one's a nice star. Uh, jumping back to some pocket watches. Um, let's see. This is probably the star of the show. This is a minute repeater and it's Patek Philippe. This is an English gold Fusi Moose movement, 18 karat gold with this very fun kind of fob. Ladies watch with enamel work. Um, this one's beautiful because of the enamel work and the diamonds on the back, rose cut diamonds. Um, this is Henry Black and it's really quite a nice example. Um, Waltham, here we have another English pocket watch. So really nice selection of pocket watches as well. Um, this is probably a cane handle or some sort of handle and it's 14 karat gold with a jade, a carved nephrite jade and then guillotine enamel work and colored gem accents. We have this um, telephone push. So it was a dial of the telephone. This is a travel pencil. So there you go. There's the pencil aspect. This I thought was real in the house because it looks so much like a leaf. Um, and this by a particular artist. We have this champagne swizzle stick. 
So let's see if I can do this one while you're watching. I'm not going to be able to, but I promise you it's a swizzle stick. And it's Cartier. 14 karat gold mounted pocket knife. Two Tiffany pens. We have, this is beautiful. So again, just like our previous example of Mughal or Indian jewelry, we have this emeralds, rubies, diamonds set on this leader added bracelet. And then on the back, you can see that they've converted this. Let's see if you can see the enamel work. Well, beneath the more contemporary setting, you can see that there is also enamel work on the backing of this. That would be quite similar to this example. We have a high carat rope twist bracelet. This is 14 karat gold, really quite beautiful. This is excellent. I love snake jewelry. So this is 14 karat gold snake with a diamond to its head and colored gem eyes. Really so nice and still in such good condition. These are all from the estate of Raymond C. Yard. So it's 14 karat gold and sapphires on sterling. One, two are inscribed to Raymond C. Yard's wife. So her name was Marjorie. So you can see Marjorie B. Yard. And then one of the smaller ones was also. Um, let's see, moving on, we have this beautiful silver top floral form brooch. Large floral brooch with this colored gem and seed pearl brooch. We have this 14 karat gold jade mounted bracelet. Really quite nice with the various uh, shapes. This is a very sweet um, 14 karat gold mesh and, and pearl coin purse. So if you see, you can open it and then with the chain, you close it and then it hangs like this and it's really so sweet and really in such good condition still. Um, we have a charm bracelet. This is Tiffany, so a Tiffany belt buckle, a Tiffany ring. Here we have one of our coins, so one of several coins. This is a $20 coin, I believe. Yes, $20 coin. We have these two very large, most surely emerald cabochons. We have this 14 karat gold wishbone with seed pearls and that's a brown diamond. Art Nouveau with an amethyst cabochon and diamonds. We have these two uh, rose cut diamond pear shaped stones. We have this large diamond pendant, nice diamond weight over 10 carats at five to 7,000. This is Cartier, the trefoil of colored gem accents. A chain grouping, we have this black pearl grouping, uh, 14 karat gold mounted. We're going to jump back to this Verdora piece, so it's lapis with an 18 karat gold mounting. We have these four oversized fobs. So really just nice antique examples. You can see the underside, so you can see the carvings. Another micro mosaic in the sale is just beautiful. I believe this one is Black Star, or Bailey Binks and Biddle. Yeah, this one is Bailey Binks and Biddle, my apologies. Um, and it's the center sc a scarab of micro mosaic. We have this wonderful, most surely continental, and I believe to be 17th century snake ring with the rose cut diamond. Um, this is a very sweet bug brooch with diamonds. 14 karat gold colored gem and diamond brooch. Um, we're gonna move quickly, I promise. So this is a micro mosaic box. Uh, 14 karat gold with a colored gem cabochon. This is actually Japanese mixed metal and it's a sliding box, which is very sweet. You can see there. I love mixed metal. This is 18th century, so this is circa 1750s and it's German. So you can see the rubies and the emeralds. Um, and then to the top, there's some diamonds. And it's just such a beautiful, I mean, this is beautiful, really beautiful. This is Raymond Yard's personal ref wrestling medallion. So he won a wrestling tournament at um, one of the New York clubs. This is Cartier. And so this is a really nice little box. Again, it's this one is 18 karat gold, I believe, with the sapphire cabochon. You can see the inscription here. Um, this little medallion came off, but it is present, which is why it's taped. Um, this is Tiffany, 18 karat gold and mother of pearl. Really nice example of antique Tiffany. 18 karat gold and enamel box. 18 karat gold and Swiss enamel box. This is just a gorgeous piece of Victorian jewelry. So this is carved coral. Um, one of the pieces right here, so the pair to this one fits right here and it's in this bag. So it's not damaged or anything, it just came off. This is silver top gold floral brooch. Sweet, nice size. This is a Victorian and Tremblant brooch. So you can see him just tremble and wiggle around. So it's a bird above a floral swag. Moving on to some 14 karat gold purses. So 14 karat gold coin purse. 
14 karat gold coin purse coin purse um this is probably some sort of maybe there was an interior of um carved panels as a dance card i'm not really sure what the purpose of this is but it's 14 karat gold we have a 14 karat gold purse so this mesh purse this one is really a sweet example so this flips over and you hold it like this this opens sapphires and diamonds and then you push these edges and it opens and it's really so sweet one of my favorite lots in the oh i missed these so this is platinum and diamonds this vine form necklace beautiful beautiful work um, and it is signed we have these three silver and enamel crosses we have this multi-strand uh, 14 karat gold and sapphire cabochon bracelet we have this forester 14 karat gold toboga style bracelet these two hard stone carved bracelets we have this 14 karat this is victorian 14 karat gold banded agate and diamond hinged bracelet beautiful example at 12 to 1500 we have this charm bracelet with large charms um, really quite nice another toboga's bracelet these three 14 karat gold pierced bracelets um, two more 14 karat gold bracelets together jumping back um, this is a reverse crystal or an Essex crystal floral basket in 14 karat gold mounting um, wheat sheaf and flower brooch we have two crosses very similar stylistically where the sun has pearls this one has diamonds pearls and turquoise we have this 18 karat gold continental enamel decorated and diamond with pearl accent ivy brooch we have this 18 karat gold opal and pearl brooch um, two really nice antique examples of jewelry but both have condition issues which is why they're grouped together victorian pansy brooch with a diamond but some losses to the enamel and then this really wonderful um kind of like floral sprig brooch but it's missing a pearl we have this wonderful russian gilt silver um, pendant with colored gem accents probably rubies 14 karat gold vintage brooch with this carved carnelian vase uh, displaying flowers with colored gem and diamond accents this is 14 karat gold more cameos in the sale so this is beautiful 18 karat gold cameo with enamel decoration to the surround um, here's a cameo of a beauty with this ivy surround really quite nice moving on to some rings in the sale so we have this probably garnet and diamond antique ring these are just so beautiful. Look how, look at this ring. It's gorgeous. Really beautiful at three to 5,000. This is Georgian. Um, so it's silver top gold with these rose cut diamonds. And there's actually two that are very similar. Unfortunately, this one is missing one stone, but it's still a wonderful example. Um, here we have this kind of triangular cut diamond flanked by colored gems. This is probably an aqua with rose cut diamond surround. Again, gorgeous. A uh, more contemporary example of jewelry here, we have Marco Bisego. So this is 18 karat gold with a single diamond accent. Moving on to some more boxes. Um, 14 karat gold, rose gold. We have this 14 karat gold with a ruby cabochon. Um, 14 karat gold, we have an 18 karat gold hinged box or snuff box. 14 karat gold, 14 karat gold. We have this Italian 800 gilt silver box with colored gem accents. We have this... Uh, matchbox in 14 karat gold it is monogrammed this is continental 18 karat gold unfortunately it is missing the closure but it's a really beautiful example in bicolor gold we have this beautiful continental gold box with the portrait of the beauty we have this 14 karat gold um, cut crystal box with the colored gem and diamond accents and then you can see it is monogrammed here here we have a high carat indian or mughal style um, scent bottle so this opens up here Moving on to some diamonds. So this is beautiful diamond ring. So kind of this cluster ring, the center stone we did obtain a GIA for. So it's 0 0.89 carats, end color, I2 clarity. And this is at two to 3,000. We have this wonderful 1.07 uh, brilliant cut and it's F color and SI1 clarity at six to 900. One of the stars of the show is this 4.71 round brilliant cut diamond at 20 to 30,000 has L color and VS2 clarity. So really quite nice in this platinum scented flanked by tapered baguettes. Moving on to some couture, we have this Ferragamo bag, Miu Miu. This is a beautiful Chanel with this um, lace work to the purse. Um, really nice contemporary, never been used. Dolce & Gabbana, we have this Chanel necklace with the magnifying pendant. 
cut so you can see on multiple strands, really quite nice with the original box. We have this continental silver mounted dog box with enamel decoration so you can see the hunt scene and then you open it up and there's additional enamel work to the interior so it's really so sweet, I love this dog. Um, this is a Viennese enamel decorated piano. Um, this is at three to 500. When you open this up, we have two medallions with their certificates of authenticity. Similar example here. All the details and photos are online. We have lots of coins in the sale. So I wanted to give a sneak peek here, but then Ken will talk about these in more detail tomorrow. But there's a ton of coins, so check our website. Over 20 lots of coins, and some are significant and rare. Um, we have a grouping of seal stamps. So some are carved, so we have these really beautiful uh, carved banded agate, and carnelian, and this is kind of a bicolor silver. We have this 14 karat gold enamel decorated handle, and then there's this etched design to the crystal with these colored gem accents. This is Russian banded agate and gilt silver, beautiful. Um, here we have this scent bottle, it's 18 karat gold. I'm gonna take it out just so you can really see that cabochon to the top that's extraordinary. And this diamond surround, and then these kind of florets with colored gems. We have several lots of colored gems in the sale. So I just chose this one, and these are all intaglios and seal stamps. Um, but they're all these large groupings. Um, there are several with colored gems and diamonds. Two Rolexes in the sale. So this is a ladies presidential, 1982. Um, 18 karat gold, diamond surround, date just. Here's the men's presidential, and this is a day date, 18 karat gold. Comes with the box, papers, etc. in here, so you can see all the information. Um, this is at, the ladies at four to 6,000, and the men's is at eight to 12,000, 1976, I believe, but double check me on that one. Uh, so moving on to some more boxes, Russian, gilt silver enamel decorated box with this so sweet winter scene. So there's sledders and skiers, etc. but really quite nice. It is stamped to the interior. Um, this is French 18 karat gold art deco with these black onyx bands. This is Marcus Company, the shell form bicolor gold with these bands of rubies. Um, this is Russian, so this is Russian and it has a sapphire cabochon closure. Um, this is Austrian and it's 800 silver and then alligator mounted and then there's bones to each side. And then this is beautiful art deco. So it's silver and gold. Just a really nice example at three to 500. Um, and that wraps it up for my selection of jewelry, silver, gold, and couture. And we hope to see you on October 30th.